What is up, my butter biscuits? I changed my clothes, even though I'm like literally pre-filming right now. I don't know which order you guys are gonna see these videos in. I'll probably be putting this one up first because I think this is the collection that is coming out the first, I think. Anyways, y'all, let me just tell you guys I look a little bit busted because I am getting ready to go to Phoenix. Uh, normally, I just straight up film my videos in the same clothes, but then I was like, I'm gonna film like five videos today. So I was like, let me not film five videos in the same exact shirt. And I look busted because I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta do laundry. I gotta pack. I gotta edit. Like I got way too much going on and I gotta get these videos filmed. So I apologize that I look busted. I know that I had said recently, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get back into my full faces of makeup, but I'm just like... It's just been really hectic, y'all, and I probably won't get back into full faces of makeup until January. I feel like I just have so much going on this whole entire month. I got cruises. I got trips. It's just like, what? And then we got the holidays. Like, it's just way too much. So um, I do apologize for that. Obviously, as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new It's a Small World Collection by ColourPop. And I'm letting you guys know right off the jump, this is a spoiler alert right here that I'm low-key kind of impressed. Like, I was like, oh, another ColourPop collection. You guys know ColourPop stays being in my anti-hauls only because I feel like for the longest time, they just do so many repetitive things and I'm just like, it's just so boring. It's so dull. Like, it's so repetitive. They change up their same exact color stories and just put it into like a square palette, a circle palette, a triangle palette, like just different shapes. And it's like, it's the same color stories over and over again. But when I saw this, I was like, hold up. I don't even like it. It's a small world like that. Like, to be honest with you guys, it's probably like one of my least favorite rides at Disneyland. I'm almost like I'm almost like I'm always like why don't they just like knock it down and put a new attraction there even though I know it's very nostalgic it's been there forever but it's just really boring to me and I feel like with that big of a space they could do something so much better do you know what I mean but I want to say as not being a it's a small world fan I'm kind of a fan of this collection like honestly I was like oh wow this is actually really cute so I'm really surprised to be saying that because y'all know how I feel about ColourPop like I just feel like they're just so repetitive with their things do you know what I mean but this is actually something that's a little bit different so if you guys are interested in hearing about that of course go ahead and keep on watching make sure you guys click the link click the, click the link down below and check out my second channel speaking of it's a small world i got disney vlogs on there i got universal vlogs on there i got like all different types of travel vlogs it's just a travel channel with my brother so make sure you guys check that out i would really appreciate the love over there and uh, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up too and let's go ahead and get into it just after filming this intro my neighbor y'all Ooh, he started with his stuff again like he's always working on these loud cars so i apologize if that's in the background because it's really loud one time y'all i thought it was so funny this girl had wrote to me oh my gosh she was like i'm unsubscribing from your channel because i said in one video i was like oh my gosh my trailer park trash neighbor is like so loud or whatever and she was like i can't believe you said that and i was like girl i'm literally like halfway i know people can never guess my ethnicity but i'm like my name is tim like come on did you did you really think that i'm not white and my dad literally i'm not even kidding you my mom clowns up all the time he literally grew up in a trailer like i feel like i can make that joke do you know what i mean anyways y'all let's go ahead and get down into this collection so they don't have any descriptions on color pop right now you guys know that like every single time a collection's coming out i really like it to be listed on the website only because i get to read the description get to know about it ahead of time this is just coming out on December 1st, so probably by the time you watch this video, it's probably already going to be out. So basically every uh, bit of information that I'm going to be reading is going to be from Trend Mood and from ColourPop's Instagram page. So um, this is the collection as a full right here. The first products that I want to talk about are the blushes. They retail for $14 each. And it's so ironic because just right before this video, I filmed a video about a um, blush similar to this in the Strawberry Shortcake Collection from Glam Light. And this blush to the far right right here, I feel like it's just so beautiful like I really do like this but am I tripping maybe I haven't purchased a blush from ColourPop in a long period of time but like isn't $14 kind of a little bit pricey for ColourPop I don't know like maybe it's been so long that I feel like their stuff back in the day was like $9 like five years ago but y'all the price of everything is going up it's just so insane how like I feel like everything is going up and then the minimum wage is taking years to go up so I'm like we could just never get ahead y'all I saw this meme before that like America is like a third world country with a Gucci belt on. And I was like, y'all, that is so true. Because I'm like, why is everything going up? But minimum wage ain't going up. Like, we're not really getting paid more. Like, what's going on here? Or when minimum wage does go up, then the cost of everything else goes up. So it's just like, oh my gosh. It's just so crazy. Anyway, so these are the blushes right here. I really do feel like they are beautiful. Here are some swatches of them. And I really do like the shade Round the World. Um, And then we have Happiest Cruise and then Dancing Darling. The other two shades are probably a little bit too intense, too a little bit, too a little bit, <laughs> too deep for my skin tone. Uh, but the shade Round the World is specifically what I was talking about in the Strawberry Shortcake collection. I feel like it is just a beautiful shade, which sometimes it does look really intense, but obviously you can sheer it out or you can build it up. And that shade right there is just so freaking beautiful. I love it. Um, and then we do have two highlighters, which are swatched underneath, which is called Jubilant Chorus and Whimsical Ride. Both of those shades are really, really beautiful. 
My problem is specifically with these types of highlighters right here because they are the Super Shock Shadows or Super Shock Highlighters. Um, It's the same as the Super Shock, Super Shock Shadows. Oh my gosh, that's a tongue twister. I feel like they dry out kind of fast and when they dry out, like you just literally can't use them. I understand that they're going for a little bit more of a creamy texture so that way obviously it can apply a little bit more creamy, but it just dries out and I feel like it dries out pretty fast. Like there was some shadows that I had before and they were probably good for like two or three months. And I'm telling you guys, I would make sure that I specifically turned it really, really hard to make sure it's closed. Um, so even though those shades are really beautiful, I really do like them. I just don't like that type of product because it does dry out even when you close it tightly. So yeah, um, the price on that, is that not listed? I don't see a price right here on Trend Mood or on ColourPop. Um, I could have sworn that I saw it earlier though. Maybe I'm tripping. My phone, I swear to you guys, like, oh, it's been pissing me off ever since the um, new update. I'm just like, what is going on here? Yeah, I, saw, I thought I saw the ColourPop prices somewhere, but there is just no prices anywhere on here but how did i get 14 dollars for the highlighter i am so true i am so dumb i was looking at color pop and not trend mood oh my gosh so yes the blushes are 14 dollars and the um two tie-dye uh, super shock highlighters are 11 dollars each then before we get into the palette here i do want to talk about these lip colors right here which i do like i like the colors but i just don't like that they're in a set so it's a vault so it's 28 dollars for four shades there is a couple shades in there that i actually really do like but here's my problem with it is i don't want to purchase a full set like y'all and on top of that too like i'm at the point now to where obviously i do way more commentary on my channel like my channel is pretty much like 98 percent commentary and like two percent reviews and tutorials so i really am not going to purchase a full set of stuff because i'm not going to use it all the time do you know what i mean like obviously if there's a couple shades in here like the shade specifically called um seven seaways i love that shade and the shade um smiling faces i like those two shades the other two shades sing along and clock tower are really beautiful shades but they're just not something that i'm going to use on an everyday basis as to where i feel like the shade seven seaways and smiling faces i could use on an everyday basis so why would i purchase the full set so therefore i'm just kind of throwing away money like maybe i'll use it once or twice do you know what i mean so even though 28 dollars really isn't too bad of a price for four of them it's just i'm not going to use the other two so i do notice a lot of brands are doing these kind of like lip kit style of things just like i had mentioned before well you guys are probably watching this before my strawberry shortcake video but i mentioned within that video i'm like you know what i like this lip set right here for the lip gloss but i don't like the lipstick so why would i buy it so i feel like a lot of brands are doing this and it's just kind of a way to get you to spend a little bit more because i feel like it's more bang for their buck do you know what i mean but i do feel like it is a decent price i just the other two shades although they are pretty i'm not going to wear them all the time um i want to say the packaging as a whole i actually really do like it i feel like it is really kind of like toned down because obviously with a ride like it's a small world you can do like a whole lot of like crazy stuff but i like that they went the little like more classic route of it it's giving me just the vibes of the outside of it's a small world if you guys have not been there and i actually really do like that um so getting into the palette right here which is obviously the main thing um what is the name? It's just called It's a Small World 12 Pen Eyeshadow Palette. Now, the reason why I'm just kind of like, I'm a little bit shook by this is I really like this palette. Like, I'm like, hold up. Like, maybe I might get this. So this is a 12 pen um, shadow palette right here for uh, $22. Um, so I do feel like that is a pretty fair price. Uh, once again, I don't know if like, y'all, maybe it's been a hot minute since I have purchased a palette from ColourPop. I feel like the last palette that I purchased from ColourPop was probably either the Grogu palette or the, um, oh my gosh, with, why did I? I draw a blank on that oh, the sanderson sisters what's the name of that movie jesus hocus pocus it's either one of those two palettes those are the last ones that i bought and i don't know why for some reason i thought they were 18 dollars maybe i'm tripping it has been a while but i could have sworn they were around like 18 19 dollars but once again everything is going up in price but i actually really like the shapes on this i just filmed a video about the avatar nyx um, palette and i was like you know what i like this color story but the shapes inside there there's so many different shapes inside there that it's like really throwing me off i love how this has a little bit of the triangles and the circles but then inside the circles is a, a, like a different shape like i really like the aesthetic of this and if you guys have been on it's a small world um the ride before whether it be in orlando or disneyland you guys would totally get the vibes of this although i do feel like this is a little bit more of the vibes of the one in anaheim rather than orlando because i did go on that one in um august and i was kind of like um i think it's a little bit different than ours over here in anaheim um anyways y'all so this color story right here is absolutely beautiful to me i actually really do like it and i feel like you could make so many different looks with this and i really do love how you have like the four shades of like blue down there the shades of like like red and purple with the pops of burgundy 
like I feel like it's a really gorgeous palette and I actually really do like it and I have to say that really surprises me coming from ColourPop only because y'all for the past I want to say maybe like year I'm just like eh whatever like I've been really underwhelmed by them but this color story to me it's like really really cute and I really do like it and I feel like you could actually build so many different looks with this palette and on top of that too say for example if you guys are somebody who wants to just wear like neutrals you got your neutrals right inside here as well too but then if you want to spice it up i feel like this is actually a really cute palette to like have like day to night makeup because you could do really soft makeup with that first row right there and then if you want to enhance it you could use the burgundy shade down below which is called um after all and then even if you want to slap some of the shade 1966 on top or maybe even on the lower lash line you could put some of the world traveler or peace on the bottom i feel like that would like really spruce things up to make it a little bit more vibrant nighttime look from the daytime look i feel like this is really a cute palette and i really do like it and then here are the swatches of it and i feel like after seeing the swatches i still really like it too i feel like it's just gorgeous but honestly though maybe i am a little bit biased to this for some reason i think i've said this before i love a palette that has a little bit of like burgundies reddish tones with blues inside of it i just feel like they go really really well together maybe not necessarily blended together but say for example if you do on the top of the eye Let's just say you do like a burgundy eye and then do a pop of blue on the bottom. I feel like it's really beautiful. You have your warmth, you have your cool, and it just makes for a really cool look. And I feel like overall, this is a gorgeous palette. And I love the fact that you have your neutrals in there. So you can wear your neutrals with your pops of blue, or you can wear your neutrals with your pops of like burgundy. And I feel like it blends out really, really well. And I really do like this palette. I'm so, I'm so surprised only because I feel like ColourPop has just been really really dull to me but um yeah that is it for this collection it's a very small collection i also that's another thing i want to give kudos to is i feel like color pop there for a hot minute just like makeup revolution y'all know i i'm sorry but i just makeup revolution really grinds my gears with they with them coming out with like 50 products within one collection i love that this is a very small collection you got something for the cheeks you got something for the highlight you got something for the lips and you got something for the eyes and i feel like that's really all you need you know what i'm saying sometimes they do a little bit too much where they're coming out with like three different lip products and eyeliners and eyeshadows and blushes and bronzers and it's just like whoa like you're getting to have too much product but this is a really cute um collection and i actually really do like it and i love i really love the palette like to be honest with you guys i'm just at a point right now with palettes though I feel like I'm just going to wait until like everything goes on sale and I actually would pick this up if it does go on sale. But I have a feeling that it probably will sell out only because Disneyland is just so popular and then It's a Small World is really popular. Like y'all, oh my gosh, especially like when they do it for like the holiday times, like them, that, that lines get so pop in i'm just like that this will probably sell out but if it ever does go on sale though if it is permanent i don't know um because it doesn't say right here if it is limited edition or not but if it does go on sale i think i would actually pick it up but that is it for my thoughts and opinions about this collection overall i think the palette is gorgeous and i really do like the uh, blush shade what was the name of the blush shade again that i liked the soft pink one it is called around the world i feel like that shade is just absolutely gorgeous so those two products right there i would definitely pick up if i was going to be picking up anything from this collection but lord knows i probably won't be because y'all it's the holiday time so i'm being really frugal right now but make sure you guys let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about everything and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout